Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've all been hearing a lot in the past few days from the creative sector in our province, and they're really afraid, Mr. Speaker, of the negative changes that could be coming to the film tax credit. Members of the industry are circulating a petition that is now more than 15,000 signatures. The title of that petition, Mr. Speaker, is Preserve the Nova Scotia Film and Digital Media Tax Credits, No Change Without Consultation. So my question to the Acting Premier, Mr. Speaker, is this. Why haven't the industry been fully consulted about negative impacts that possible changes to this tax credit could have. Accountable Deputy Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. I, I think it's something that's very topical, absolutely. Mr. Speaker, we have had discussions, I know, over many years with the, with the industry. I've had the privilege to meet them very recently, just a week ago, to hear directly from their concerns. And I know they've done some very thoughtful submissions to the tax review and also to the consultations that we held after the tax review was received. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And all of those were after the minister started talking negatively about this film tax credit. Mr. Speaker, veteran Nova Scotia filmmaker Paul Donovan told all Nova Scotia, and I'll quote, essentially prior to the tax credit, there was no film business. Today, it's one of the province's few thriving industries. So Mr. Speaker, the former government knew this. In fact, in November 30th, 2012, the NDP established the Film and Creative Industry Nova Scotia and moved it from finance into ERDT. This was to put more focus on a growing sector. And Mr. Speaker, it's working. So my question to the minister is, why isn't the minister recognizing the importance of the thriving industry in <clears throat> film and what this impact is on the Nova Scotia economy? The Honourable Deputy Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I can, I can honestly say that we, we do see value in the industry, absolutely. I know that I've received many letters from people from around the, the province who speak about the value of the industry. But, Mr. Speaker, I've said here before that we do need to talk about the value of our tax dollars, how tax dollars are spent, and the value that we get back as a province, and making choices. Mr. Speaker, that are often difficult choices. At this point in time, Mr. Speaker, the industry is speculating, and so is the opposition. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's been almost a week since the minister caused havoc in this industry by her comments at the Chamber of Commerce. She could end the speculation right here and now when the firefighters confronted the minister about the volunteer firefighter tax credit. She shut that down very quickly. She's done the same with booksellers about the tax credit for books. So, Mr. Speaker, why hasn't the minister revealed her plans for the film tax credit instead of causing all of this grief and speculation, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Deputy Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I know there's been a number of questions in the House about other tax credits as well and other benefits. We've had questions last week about them. Mr. Speaker, all of those questions are premature because the budget is being released here on Thursday this week. Thank you. <laughs>